express gratitude to Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe for his valuable contribution in strengthening ties between the Philippines and Japan. In a statement from the Office of the President, President Duterte conveyed his best wishes for Abe's speedy and full recovery during a 25-minute phone conversation between the two leaders. Prime Minister Abe announced his intention to resign from office due to health reasons on August 28. He's suffering from ulcerative colitis. President Duterte also lauded Abe for his leadership that paved the way for Japan's proactive contribution to peace in the Asia-Pacific, advancing regional security and the rule of law, especially in the maritime commons. Japan significantly contributed to the enhancement of the Philippines' capabilities in defense and security, particularly in maritime domain, awareness, and law enforcement, he added. He also thanked Prime Minister Abe for Japan's pledge of 1 trillion yen from 2017 till 2022 for the government's flagship projects, notably those under the Build, Build, Build program, the necessary support and momentum. Filipinos, he said, are looking forward to the completion of the Metro Manila subway project, the country's first mass underground transport system. He described the subway project as one that would serve as an enduring symbol of Philippine-Japan friendship and cooperation. The president is hopeful that the two countries would sustain its robust economic or economic economy through the immediate completion of the Philippines-Japan Economic Partnership Agreement General Review. He also expressed appreciation for Japan's support for the Philippines' COVID-19 response, including the two loan agreements meant to boost the country's capacity to restart the economy. Prime Minister Abe, meanwhile, assured the president that Japan will continue to strengthen its strategic partnership with the Philippines. And he recalled warm memories of his visits to the Philippines, including being welcomed to the president's private residence in January of 2017. The value of the Philippines-Japan strategic partnership and relations of friends closer than brothers was also recognized by both leaders. Earlier, Prime Minister Abe said he would stay in office until his successor is chosen through a poll of selected members of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party. The four-year term of Prime Minister Abe, Japan's longest-serving Prime Minister, would have ended in 2021.